Life is returning to normal across the country as restrictions continue to be lifted. Here in the Sunshine State, people continue returning to work after our major industries were shut down. A promising sign from where we were at the beginning of this pandemic. Now, from February to April of 2020, Florida lost more than 1.2 million jobs because of coronavirus lockdown. Since then, the state has gained back more than half of those jobs lost. That's around 750,000 jobs. Orlando and Central Florida, also one of the hardest hit areas when it came to job losses across the state. News 6 is Nadine Giannis is live in Orange County where officials are trying to turn around all those lost jobs through a job fair and a pretty big one at that, Nadine. Well, it's one of the biggest here in Central Florida. Ginger, one of the most well-knowns. It actually wrapped up around 4 o'clock 30 minutes ago. And let me just tell you about some of the things we saw businesses were offering today. We're talking about on-the-spot job offers, $1,000 sign-up bonuses, Amazon gift cards just to agree to an interview, and some companies offering one, two, three dollars more per hour than they normally would. They're saying they're having trouble to get workers back into the workforce. We actually spoke to job seekers on why they might have waited until today to find a job. We have the advertisement for our $1,000 bonus. Business after business. I'm showing you a $1,000 sign-on bonus at MB Transportation. Brought out their most competitive offers for job seekers at the Central Florida Employment Council's job fair at the county fairgrounds today. We're ready and prepared to have a couple thousand people here today, but we average about 500 to 600. Most every business we spoke to struggling to bring back staff. We cannot get enough people to work. Brandon Miller is the hiring manager for Palma's restaurant group serving at Walt Disney World. It is difficult. Um, we're, we're, you know, we're trying to, to run um, at, a, at an increased capacity. Lots of people are traveling now. People are getting more comfortable getting back out into restaurants, theme parks, uh, retail shops. Uh, you know, especially as more and more people get vaccinated. In fact, according to the latest job report in Florida, hospitality and leisure jobs had the most loss. And that shows in our tourism areas. Take a look. The current unemployment rate in Florida is 4.7% but much higher in Orange County at 5.5% and Osceola County at 6.4%. It's been a little bit of a challenge, I think. Um, you know, I think for various reasons, people may not want to be getting back into the workforce just yet. For Isabel Jimenez, after losing her airport job, she was awaiting a call back, but that hasn't happened yet. Thanks God, you know, the unemployment and everything that the IRS gave us and DEO, everything, it was a good help. So thanks God. She's ready to return. Now it's time to go back to work. Feeling more comfortable after being vaccinated. And we heard a lot of reasons about why workers might not feel quite ready to come back to the workforce, including maybe not feeling safe. We actually spoke to one worker who says he's having trouble finding a job. We'll hear from that at 530. But Ginger, some good news. One company just told us they offered 17 positions. And Isabel, that lady you just heard from, she was offered a job as well. We'll have more at 530. That is wonderful news. Nadine, thank you. We'll see you again at 530.